Sports from KYMA News 11. I think we are, we're coming out hungry. I think we're going to come out. Um, these guys understand that, you know, our backs are against the wall. They, uh, they didn't take advantage of the opportunities they had last, uh, last night. They, we faced a really good pitcher through really well. Yuma Catholic baseball is now fighting for its very playoff life. Welcome back, everyone. The Shamrocks are in the AIA 3A state semifinals for the first time since 2012. However, in the best of three series, they find themselves in a must-win scenario tomorrow night. The Shamrocks are regrouping after a 9-2 loss to the second-seeded ALA Gilbert North Eagles on Tuesday. Yuma Catholic head coach Judd Throwers says the focus going into Thursday's game is to stay centered, stay relaxed, don't try to do more than you can, and just do what they've been doing all year long. It is one of those things where nobody wants to be in this situation, but we are. Our team has has done it before. We have a group of seniors that are, and a group of leaders that are up to the challenge. Our guys are focused. Our guys understand that this is the last hurrah for them, and they are going, uh, they're going to leave it all on the field and whatever, wherever the ball are, lays, that's where we go. Coach Thrower said senior and San Diego State signee Isaac Ariza will take the mound tomorrow night. Should Yuma Catholic win, they'll play the third and deciding game on Saturday at 2 p.m. in Goodyear for the right to go to the state championship series. Well, we have a pair of prep baseball highlight rewinds starting at Mickey Carter Field at Freeway Park as the Imperial Tigers looking to keep Head coach Matt Redden and the Southwest Eagles from claiming their third straight IBL crown to the bottom of the second. Tiger sophomore Gerardo Hernandez in a 3-0 hole after a pop-up. Hernandez gets lefty Jonathan Gracia with a whiff on a pitch high and away. Next, it's another lefty, junior Oscar Medina with a slow roller to first, and he's going to beat it out for the infield single. Hernandez would get out of the inning as Kenneth Urquidez Sends a lazy fly to Ethan Gonzalez in left field. And then Eagle freshman Jonathan Gracia on the hill to start the third. Leadoff batter Ethan Gonzalez with a slow roller to Angel Sanchez at second. And Sanchez with a 4-3 put out. Later, with two outs and a runner on first, senior Matthew Weiwell with this line drive to right. Weiwell in stand. A stand-up double there. Tigers with runners at second and third. Garcia would get out of the jam. Southwest hangs on to win six to four. With that win, they claim their IBL title for a third straight year. And finally, we have a highlight rewind from last night's prep baseball battle between Holtville and Central. In time, we pick it up in the bottom of the second with no score. Central's Tate Priest gets Nick Pacheco to bounce this one to second. The play is made for the final out of the inning. Priest cruising earlier on. Top of the third, Rafa Espinoza tossing for the Vikes. With a runner on first, this bunt goes back to Espinoza, but his throw to second sails to center field. Central now threatening. And then Seth Johnson, well, he's going to lay down another bunt, as you're about to see. This one's going to roll right past Espinoza on the mound. Spartans loading the bases with nobody out. Next batter, Elijah Perez chops it up the middle. The play is made by J.R. Garawal, but the runner crosses the home plate, one nothing central. They wind up winning this one, one to nothing. All right, that's gonna do it for this round of sports. We'll send it back to you guys.